1-800-273-THE-GOAT. Yeah, that's the one. K277 TQ Lafayette, 1420-KPEL The rumors are true. People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Dave Schultz and Sports Chat are back. I'm back, baby! I'm back! One change, though. I'm sorry, that deal's now off the table. What? We live in a different world than we did just 30 seconds ago. Instead of waking you up, he's taking you home from work. Hey, Dad, you want to have a catch? I'd like that. Talking Cajuns, Tigers, Saints, all of it. I am the father. Buckle up, Acadiana. I feel the need, the need for speed. It's time for Sports Chat with Dave Schultz on 103.3 The Goat. All right, Dave Schultz, Linda Burton on a uh, fired up Friday afternoon sports chat. We'll get to our next guest, um, D. Orlando Ledbetter, here in a moment. We do have some breaking news. I guess not so breaking. We've been talking about uh, the Saints and uh, college football so much. Uh, Anthony Davis has agreed to a uh, $186 million max extension uh, through 2028 for a total of $270 million. All right. He is Good going, going nowhere. Davis lands richest annual extension in NBA history at $62 million. All right. Well, you know, we'll yeah. see how that works out for yeah, the Lakers yeah. long term. It's not going to work out for the Lakers. It's going to work out for Davis. Yeah, yeah facts. Yeah. All right, let's talk to uh, our good buddy, D. Orlando uh, Ledbetter, one of the first guests I ever had on Sports Chat. Always great to have him back on. But I got to tell you, D., I don't know uh, too many NFL uh, beat writers that get fined personally by the head coach. What happened? Arthur Smith handing you a letter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. We uh, uh, had a conflict with our uh, vacation schedule and the start of training camp, so I had to miss a couple days. And uh, uh, when I returned... Uh, I was handed a, a fine letter. Wow. $500. You no. don't know how much sports writers make. Right. <laughs> That's basically a m- m- food for a month. Um, but uh, the sports department picked it up and, and uh, they made a donation. Yes, they did to the National Civil Ri- Civil and Human Rights Museum in, in Atlanta. Uh, and uh, Coach matched it, so did Arthur Blank. Oh, wow. So they matched it. Yes, they did. So the... The uh, Civil and uh, Human Rights uh, uh, Museum, they got 1500 bucks out of the deal. <laughs> there you go. Well, that's a fine, well worth paying. Uh, all right, where are we with the quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons? Yeah, Desmond Ritter is uh, the quarterback being highly scrutinized in camp, uh, every throw, every move, uh, everything, because uh, a lot's riding on if he's able to take over and be the quarterback. The owner certainly gave him a uh, vote of approval, and it's hopeful that he'll be the quarterback of the future. How, and so he's looked good. We've been here for a week and a half. How's he looking? Um, uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, it's not. He's not blowing me away. Let's just say that. Uh, but but uh, you know, I want to give him some time here to get into camp. Uh, you know, I haven't seen a lot of deep throws, a lot of back shoulder stuff. Uh, Drake London's looked great, um, you know, but the accuracy was the issue with uh, with him coming out of Cincinnati. That's why he lasted to the third round. Uh, so and that, we've seen some of that. So uh, to overcome that, they just got to throw the routes he can throw, and uh, uh, they're working on uh, working on those packages for him to to maximize his talent. Now, one of the controversial picks in the NFL draft with the Falcons taking B.J. Robinson. He may be the best player in the draft. Uh, how has he looked? He's looked awesome. Um, you know, and, the, and then they put on the pads. And then the second day in the pads, he um, he uh, had a couple fumbles. he got to get used to that heavy contact that he's going to be getting in the NFL. 
But uh, the running back coach says, hey, he's been through some ups and downs, and uh, they'd like to see that because you're going to have some adversity in the in the game sometime and throughout the season. So, you know, they want to see how he responds to a bad practice. He came back and had a good day and uh, appears to be on his way. Now, back in the day, I thought, you know, Kyle Pitts was basically Brock Bowers, but uh, I guess he's had an okay uh, NFL career so far. How has the uh, former uh, Florida Gators tight end looked? Yeah, he's looked great. They had to ease him into things. He had that uh, medial collateral ligament uh, surgery on his knee and, uh, you know, uh, was just uh, uh, easing in. And now his load's picking up a little bit. He's a little bit more each day in his return to play. And he was, uh, they were working on a low red zone today, and he was clearly the main target. Uh, to get him some touchdowns in that red zone area. And uh, that that was looking very nice. Really did a good job during that, that session and that period and hooking up with Kyle Pitts uh, for a lot of touchdowns today in the low red zone period. Talking with uh, D. Orlando Ledbetter from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. All right, so what are the expectations for the Falcons? Their over-under is actually, they have an over-under of eight and a half wins. I mean, there's some pretty high expectations for the Falcons. That's a lot. Yeah, no doubt about it. Um, and the owner said he expects more than the seven wins they had last year. So uh, his over and under is seven. <laughs> right. But the Vegas, so, so they better get more than seven. Uh, well, he's going to be upset. So, but yeah, the, um, the schedule is so weak. They only play uh, the Vikings and the Jets, uh, are the only two games where they're going to be clear underdogs. So they got 15 games. Uh, where they're going to be even or slightly uh, favored. And, you know, you win 10 of those, then you're 10-5. And, and then if you lose the Vikings and Jets, you're 10-7. So uh, you can definitely see how they can get to 10-7, uh, you know. Uh, and, you know, the uh, the schedule's the weakest in the league. Maybe, you know, squeeze one out here and there and get to 11 or 12 mm. and go back to the playoffs. Wow. All right, so that would be that would be a shocker if they were that good. I mean, then we're we're either either Bijan Robinson is the rookie of the year or Desmond Ritter is the MVP if they get 11, 12 wins. Yeah, no doubt. Now Bijan is who uh, you know people compare him to: Ladainian Thomas and Barry Sanders, uh, Marshall Fox, Saquon Barkley. All those guys had over three hundred touches as a rookie, and uh, Saquon had almost two thousand total yards. Barry uh, Barry Sanders. Uh, you know, he had a great rookie. All those guys had great rookie years. So if this guy is who they say he is and why they just number eight, we're getting ready to see something special here uh, in the uh, upcoming season. Uh, who, where do you think the Falcons have holes right now? Uh, left tackle, um, their ability to pass block is getting exploited in practice by uh, the, the defensive line, which has been much improved through free agency. Uh, you know, uh, Daniel Yamada and those guys, they're getting to the quarterback, Arnold Epicady. Uh, so the pass block is a, a problem. They can't run the ball, uh, and, and they know they got to get the ball out quick when they pass because uh, that line's not going to hold up long and, and pass blocking. Uh, defensively, you got holes, a big hole uh, open today. Jeff Lacunda, they traded him or traded for him with the Lions. From a former number three overall pick, and he went down with an ankle injury. And uh, when they carted off, you know, it's a bad situation. Coach gave the, oh, we got to wait till we see the MRI thing. But he's probably done for the year. Mm. Uh, so they got a hole at right cornerback. And, um, you know, just putting all the new defensive pieces together with the new coordinator, sometimes that takes time. Oh, Kuda just can't catch a break, Kenny. Wasn't he like the fourth pick in the draft? Yeah, third, uh, and um, he got hurt that first first and second year. He got hurt. And right. He played 15 games last year. They didn't want to pick up his uh, fourth-year, fifth-year option, so they traded him to the Falcons for uh, a fifth-rounder, and then he falls down and, and uh, breaks the ankle in practice here. So he's yeah. probably done it. Probably just one of those guys that, uh, you know, got overdrafted and uh, uh, just couldn't, uh, couldn't uh, live up to the hype. Yeah, that's too bad. We're talking with D. Orlando Ledbetter. So is, is B. John Robinson already the strength of the team? Oh, yeah, no doubt. It, it's so it's so easy to see that this kid's got special talent. Uh, you know, they stopped putting linebackers on him because he's getting open too easy. Uh, he's killing uh, Troy Anderson and Kate Nellis. So now you see the nickelbacks trying to chase him around. 
uh, you know, D. Alford and Michael Hughes and stuff, and he's still getting open on them too. So he ran a lot of routes at Texas for C. Sarkeesian, and uh, the Falcons are going to, you know, uh, use his ability to create mismatches uh, in the pass game in addition to running the football. All right, what are you uh, what are you writing on this weekend about the Falcons? We're writing about how they are getting ready to go to uh, Miami next week to uh, uh, have their joint practices and how they want to be a tough and physical football team. They'll get tested by the Dolphins, who, uh, you know, went to the playoffs last year, 9-8, and eight, even with Tua missing, only playing nine games. So a uh, good, good test against the AFC playoff team that's coming up. And uh, we also have a story on Logan Woodside, the uh, backup quarterback who stepped in when Mariota left the team has been helping to develop Desmond Ritter. Mm. He is D. Orlando Ledbetter. Always appreciate your time, my friend. He's with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution and AJC.com. All the best. We'll talk with you again soon. Thank you so much. Sure, no problem, Dave. Take care. Thanks for having me. Always there. Always a gentleman. Solid. No, he is really good. good. Yeah, yeah. He's one of those guys. The first guy, the first LSU guy I asked to have on wanted to get paid. Oh. I'm like, I just started. I, I I don't know anything about this. Yeah. Right? Man, when I first I don't got know into him, people right? asking me to get paid, I'm like, bro, I, you're not supposed I don't. I heard I'm I not supposed to do I that. I can't do that. Now, there are certain people I will, you know. Pony up some money for? No. Gift, <laughs> gift a bottle or two. Okay. okay. Yeah, for sure. Right? I, you know, I'm, I'm down with gifts. The people who come on... on all the time. See, okay. All the time. And we will have some regulars who come on all the time. See, and I so, think I need to do that for a couple of my guys. Like yeah. like Jake, Chris Rosvoglu. Like those dudes come on my yeah. show all the time. Right, right. Some of those are tough to get to. Yeah, Whereas for sure. my guys are usually somewhat local Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, well, Jake's in New Orleans. Yeah. 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 But Chris yeah. lives like, I think in Jersey. I think you're right. <laughs> not to or blow Chicago, up his spot. Right? No, no, no. I, it's not yeah. Chicago. I, it's, it's not Chicago? I, he's on the East Coast time. I'm pretty sure okay. it's Jersey. All right. Uh, yeah, so we could both give something to Jake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although Jake may have gotten a package of goodies today. Okay. To today. Yeah. Nice. Bird, okay. dog, bird dog shorts. So, uh, yeah, so he's been very kind with his time, and he doesn't know me from Adam outside of that he's been coming on my show for... Since 2013, you've been coming on my show for a decade. That's awesome. I yeah, respect yeah. that. Yeah, you got to respect that, right? Uh, all right, let's take a time out. We'll reset. Oh, man, I don't know what I've played. Oh, it's my oh. No, I don't think you played this. Nice. I'm still good to go. Oh, and I can play the weekend song this week. There you go. That should be the last song to play. Right? Gotcha. You like this movie? Is this rock star? I don't know if I've ever seen this. Oh, really? Rockstar? That's yeah. what it's called? Yeah. Donnie. Or with Marky Mark? I'll look this up. See if I've seen it. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg, Jennifer Ann. No, man. Yeah. Never seen this. <laughs> what a bad wig. <laughs> so he's a, he's in a um, tribute band. Oh, okay. Or cover band, whatever they call it. And he ends up with a real band. Oh, okay. Yeah. Man. The guy from The Wire is is the lead guitarist. Oh, Dominic for, West, yeah. Or the, or the, or the lead... Uh, the leader of the band, if you will. All right, let's take a time out. Dave Schultz, Lennon Burton. 1033 to go. Mess with the goat. <laughs> You'll get the horns, then the butt. Because <laughs> that's what goats do. 1033, the goat. M&D Industries of Louisiana realizes the complexities of today's energy market. However, they also realize the need for product line innovation and new technological development. While maintaining a main core business, M&D has also adapted some of their products to aid operators in their complex P&A projects. M&D's drilling fluid technologies are being modified for an ever-increasing role in solving current customer objectives. Even through hard times like these, M&D Industries is still very positive for the future. Visit them at drilllab.com today. Proud UL alumni, Lafayette Strong, supporting University of Louisiana Athletics. Are you ready to smell better naked? I'm Dr. Shannon Klingman, the OBGYN creator of Lumi, the whole body deodorant that's clinically proven to control odor for 72 hours on pits, feet, privates, and beyond. It's pH optimized to safely and effectively control odor anywhere you have it, but wish you didn't. Plus, it's proven to work better than a shower with soap alone. Whether you shower twice a day or three times a week, Lumi works better. And did we mention it's aluminum free? With over 200,000 five-star reviews, I'm so sure you're going to love it or you can return it for free. 
there's a special offer for listeners. Use code 500 and get an extra $5 off a Lumi starter pack that comes with a solid stick, cream tube, free product of your choice, and ships free with code 500. L-U-M-E deodorant.com code 500 for an extra $5 off a Lumi starter pack. Love it or return it for free. That's L-U-M-E deodorant.com code 500. Macy's one day sale is going on now with great deals of the day on back to school essentials they need now. Like 40 to 50% off kids and juniors outfits, 25 to 50% off backpacks, bags, and accessories. And get their dorm room set with 40% off small appliances from Bella, Crux, and more. Plus, download the app for even more great deals of the day at Macy's. Savings off sale and clearance prices, exclusions apply. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. What I know about courage, I learned from my adoptive mom. She said sometimes you just got to hold on and know we'll get through this. Mom, we are so high up. Hold my hand. <laughs> no, you hold my hand. Here we go. <laughs> Learn about adopting a teen from foster care. You can't imagine the reward. Visit AdoptUSKids.org to find out more. This message is brought to you by Adopt US Kids, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and the Ad Council. Pardon us when we butt in with a little common sense. Hey. 1033 The GOAT, the greatest sports talk of all time. It's a good song. These are all your songs. This, so. this one I put in there. Yeah, yeah. Do you still dream about me? Play this through. Play it a little okay. bit. Play it a little bit longer. Yeah. It's Friday. So, I don't know who the drummer is. Jack Blades is the uh, bassist. Okay. So the first guy is Jack Blades. That's the drummer. They were pretty good for a while. Then they turned into mm-hmm. damn Yankees. Oh, jeez. Never uh, heard of that. With... Um, Tommy Shaw from Styx, and I got to think of the guy's name. No. Uh, that's a good song. All right, uh, so we do have uh, more, I mean, breaking news while we're doing the show, Yep. right? Brett McMurphy, courtesy of Action News, Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, joining the Big 12 in 2024, pro- approving or pending the Big 12's formal approval in the next 24 hours. Uh, the Big 12 will be the third league with at least 16 schools, while the Pac-12 now down to four. Down to four. What What is Oregon State, uh, Washington State? I saw they said they might join because someone posted a meme. Uh, it was like, let them cook. But someone said, hearing the possibility the Big 12 could go to 18, bring in Arizona State, Utah, Washington State, and uh, Oregon State. One more time. They said they could hear the Big 12 could go to oh, right. 18 and bring well, in the, the well, others. <laughs> oh, well, I think they want Cal and Stanford. Mm. They don't necessarily want Washington State and Oregon State. In Oregon State, right, yeah. Right, right. And Stanford's talking about going independent. Yeah, that may be the best for them. After we take the call, I want to ask you about that. Because okay. I, think, I think that's not good. They're not Notre Dame. They're not no, Notre they're Dame. not. They're so not. I want to talk to you about they're that. Not. All right. Because me and Blaze talked about that today. Who do we got? I think this is Elliot. Yeah, hey, Dave, what's going on, man? How are we doing, Elliot? Not too bad, man. It's great hearing you back on the airwaves, man. But Th- I, when Thanks I so heard much. That song, we all die, when I heard that song, We All Die Young, it brought me back to my sophomore year of college, man. I was on a first date with a girl. And oh. uh, we were watching the movie, and everything was great right until the morning after in the bathroom scene. And it was like PTSD all over again. Oh, man. man. So. <laughs> Elliot, did the date go well? Yeah, but, uh, man. If he's talking about yeah, the next I mean, morning, you know, if he's talking yeah, about the yeah, next morning, it went well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, our 
Well, 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 but in the movie, you know, it was kind of like, man, we both kind of looked at each other. We had this like awkward look. And it was like, oh, right. man, okay. You know, it was crazy. But, <laughs> Been there, done hey, that. Great. Love the stuff, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thank Elliot. Elliot. All right. The name of the song is uh, Do You Still Dream About Me? Yeah. When you, when you, actually, I think the name of the song is When You Close Your Eyes. That's okay. the name of the song. All right. Okay, cool. Deal. But the second, um, the second one, the second verse has a good line in it about coming off a hard night of drinking. Oh, okay. No. And then we have the Don't Tell Me You Love Me one there, too. I That's the first it, hit. Yeah, That's the first hit. Okay. I mean, they got a couple of, I mean, Sister Christian, we didn't put that in there. Uh, what's the other one? I got to think, think of the other one. Uh, all right, do you want to talk to me about yeah, being about independent? Stanford. Yeah. Do you think, like, I don't think, I told Blazes this morning, right. I don't think that Stanford is good at, like, a big enough brand. To right. be independent like Notre Dame, probably not. Like in they can't in terms support of, their own TV network. And, no, deal. they can't do that. No, no, no. They have a huge endowment. Mm -hmm. Right when they were talking, like, go check up what what their endowment is. Is it like twenty billion? That's, oh man! If now if that's the case, they man. have a huge endowment, so they're not going to lose any money anytime soon. All right. Uh, but here's the problem. Like you said, Notre Dame doesn't have to go. $37.8 billion. Yeah. Oh, my god. So they got a little bit of cash out there. Okay. Jeez. They're not going to go under anytime soon. The thing about Notre Dame is they get the TV contract, but they're going to run out of people to play. Mm. Yeah, who are they going to play? If all these teams go to nine or more conference games, right? We're trying to get the SEC to go to nine. Mm-hmm. So they can keep their rival rivalry games intact. If you only have two ball games, you know, are you gonna are you gonna end up playing Notre Dame or are you gonna end up playing a middling SEC or Big Ten or Big Twelve team? Good question. Good question. Yeah, they're gonna have to. So I mean, what's Notre Dame's contract? Is Notre Dame's contract a hundred million? Let's see. Notre Dame. CBS contract. Notre Dame. It's, it's NBC. Oh, I thought it was CBS. Oh, 60 million a year. Oh, yeah, it is NBC. 60 million, yeah. 60 million a year. Okay. So that's basically SEC money. Mm -hmm. A little bit less than Big Ten money. Yep. That's pretty know, good. I don't know if Stanford's, you know, worth that. Stanford's not worth that. No. Like, they now you know what? If they do go independent, they should snake the Pac-12 and take an Apple deal. <laughs> yeah, could do that. <laughs> could do that. I did see somebody. I did. Was it? I think it was maybe Joseph Goodman from AL.com. Uh, he suggested, why didn't Apple just step up and pay to keep the Pac-12 together? They didn't want to spend that money. It's it, not it, like they're, they're short money. Not worth the investment. Not worth the investment to them. It could have been. I think if it was different schools, then... Also, you got to think... Is anybody losing money on these deals? Well, let me tell you. I think it's because... If you have UC USC and UCLA, they might do it. Because then I think they could get a bigger return on investment right. because you have the major program. Like, without those schools, you have in Colorado left. So, Dion, the quote-unquote Apple, could do a documentary series with them. Right. Like, who's there left to market for them besides Oregon? Right. But... Is anybody losing money on these TV deals? Oh, no, no. Not, some, the, the streaming companies aren't. Because the Super Bowl... Used to be a lost leader, mm. right? Like, like the like the the NFL used to be a lost leader. What they call it that it used to be, we'll lose money on the NFL, mm -hmm. but we'll Make promote our Super Bowl. All, right. Like like sixty minutes has been a top show forever because they come on right after the NFL. Mm -hmm. No, you're right, and it's not, you know if you don't think that they get great ratings, we, we I didn't grow up with Sunday Night Football. I didn't grow up with Thursday Night Football. Right? Those things have just come in the last 20 years or so. Yeah, Sunday Night Football is great. <laughs> I mean, there is not... I mean, eventually we get into a situation where we don't have a night without football. True. Right? We're almost there. Yeah, Monday, Thursday, S Sunday, yeah. Saturday. Saturday, someday. Oh, yeah, because yeah, college football, My yeah. Orange plays a ridiculous Friday night game against Clemson, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> and then and then with all these documentary stuff now, hard night, you got stuff during the week. Yeah, Maction. Mm -hmm. Right, there's Thursday night college football game. Eventually, we'll get a Wednesday night game in there. These these TV 
they, they don't they're not losing money on these TV. Want to hear this? Sta- uh, Reddit's college football page said Stanford went from playing twelve games against power conference opponents in twenty twenty one to potentially no games against power conference opponents in twenty twenty four. Right. Insane. Life comes at you fast. Yeah. A little Ferris Bueller there. <laughs> you know, if you don't if you don't uh, take a you know take a minute to look around, you may just miss it. All right, mm-hmm. we got another call. Yeah, I think this is Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. How y'all doing, man? Good. And I, I agree with Lynn with the Stanford thing. But uh, with Notre Dame, though, I mean, do you, I mean, you don't think it's time for them to be in a conference? They've been independent I, long enough. I, I believe it's time for them to be in a yeah, conference, but they don't ACC. want to be in a conference. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, that, I, I don't know. That's one thing I never did understand about the college, you know, thing like with them, because it, they kind of been like out at, like by themselves, like on the island by themselves against everybody else. But why they can't be in a conference? I mean, they got to be some kind of conference. They're up there like going in the Northeast, Northeast Gold, you know, and, I mean, they could be in the ACC or something. You well, know? They're, they're the ACC for everything but football. I think they use it to their advantage because yeah. they because with them not being in a conference, they could always, you know, lose a game. But due to the strength of schedule, make the playoffs. I think they, I think they see it as like it's better for the football team to stay independent because they can squeak in the playoffs with mediocrity. Yeah. So basically, what you're saying, what I'm saying, because I feel the same way, is that they're trying to get the easy way out. Pretty much. Basically, that's what they've been doing. You know. So it's time for them to get in the conference. You know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, all this independent stuff that you talking about Stanford, but like I, I agree with Lynn. I don't think they have the cliche to be. Like a Notre Dame and be independent, and maybe, and, and, and you never know, maybe it's so because Stanford is not a cupcake program, you know. It's not so. Well, I mean, it has you know, been I mean, recently. True, true, true. It true, hasn't true, been true. great yeah, recently I mean, but, since Andrew Luck has left. Yeah, I think it's I mean, been not so hot. See, Tati. Well, well, specifically since that coach left. Well, the coach just left. Yeah, Shaw. Did Sh- Sh- Shaw? Yeah, sure. But he's only been gone for like yeah. a year. Oh, I thought it was more. I thought it was like more than that. Okay, not he, much more. Maybe he's been two. Gone for two years, huh? Maybe two. Yeah, I think he's been going for like two years. Yeah, he kind of. Well, this, off a this bit might be the second year. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah, you're right. I think you're right. Let me see. This, yeah. this may be but, the second year, but he hasn't been gone for very long. Yeah, but they're not Cupcake City, you know. Like I said. Well, no, so I mean they went with. I mean they had uh, right. They went with. They went from Luck to Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> true. Yeah. You know? Jeez. True. 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 And then they had that back right after McCaffrey. That was pretty good. Did he get hurt? Yeah, he was pretty good. Yeah, he did get hurt. Now y'all talking about just like what well, you talking about just in 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 like as a program you talking about just football? Because the basketball is not bad. I don't yeah, know if it's I done mean, anything recently. It hasn't done anything. No, it hasn't done anything recently. But they're normally tournament teams. Yeah, Maybe. if you talking about just for, football wise, yeah, I think Notre Dame got them uh, like You're right. Mile, it was mile. last year. This is, mm-hmm. Yeah, show you know when it comes when it comes to that, Notre Dame got them mile mile when it comes to just football brand. I, I kind of agree with that. Right. But, you know, I kind of thought y'all meant like overall and stuff, you know. So, I mean, I was kind of off with that one. But, yeah, man, it's time for them to be in a conference, though. But, Lynn, what y'all think about this? Uh, have you and Dave discussed this um, St. Mount Rushmore thing? St. Mount Rushmore? Yeah. So there's like an a, a internet thing about going on about the St. Mount Rushmore? No, we, no, we were talking about it this morning and stuff. Oh, you talking like about what we talked the about in the in the, on the morning show? Okay, yeah, eyes, Dave, eyes, Dave. Yeah, with the Saints, uh, you know, players on Mount Rushmore and stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah. Y'all give me your opinion. Y'all give me your opinion on it. I know you had said it, and you, like it was kind of be, really before your time with some of the players, but you know, like Dave's probably old enough, but I got you know some of the other callers don't agree. Who, look, who, who you got, Ronnie? Who you got? I, I got Willie Rove. I said this morning, Willie right. Rove, Ricky Jackson. Cam Jordan and Drew Brees. Yeah, I mean that's a, okay. That's a, yeah, that's the top four. That's the top four big dogs. And like I said, later on it can be a little. It, it might change. Who knows? Maybe you can. I don't know. You can take one down, but Lattimore can be considered later if you have a Hall of Fame career at Kona. You know, he's off to a good start. You know, so yeah. who knows what his career might turn Kamara, out to be Kamara. later and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's tough to argue. Tough to argue with what you said. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? Put Sam Mills I mean, in there too, so yeah, oh, yeah. It, it, like Smoke was it, like Smoke was saying the whole Dawn Patrol as maybe like a unit. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, each of them was different in their own way, swilling and everybody else stuff. That's right, you know, Vaughn and all this. So, but yeah, Ricky Jackson, like I said, Willie, Willie Rose, man, and like Smoke was talking about Joe Horn and stuff and Deuce, and that's cool. Yeah, can't put they were good, up. but I don't, I don't think they were good long enough. That's yeah. the only thing people. 
Like some people got Martin Anderson. You know, which, which is fair. And everything. M- Martin Anderson is yeah, fair. That's what I'm saying. He was he, like he was a long time saint and everything. He you know he was you know he was the guy to kick and everything. And once he left us and everybody turned their back on him and this and that, it, which is fair, uh, understandable. So, but a lot of people Gleason, a lot of people got him. I don't think he. I mean, I don't think he should be eligible. But I know the story and everything was great. So. Like I said, there's a lot of different opinions about it, but I think the most solid guys, the most the, the solid guys, the guys that deserve to be up there based on credentials and their stats with their career, especially Cam Jordan because he's still playing, is him, Jackson, and you know, and Breeze and uh, Willie, Willie Rove. Rove. Yep. You know, Willie Rove was a monster at left tackle, man, for a decade for the Saints, man. Yeah. He was a monster, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was hard for anybody to get around that side when he was there. So those four are totally... Totally respectable uh, assets to the Saints, you know, my rush mode. So, you know, think about that. You'll give me your opinion. I'm hanging up and listen. Right. Appreciate you for calling. I'm, I'm with him. All right, no, let's I, take I, the time I think out. he's That's right. Tough. I mean, Golston. Uh, Golston. Golston's the only other person that I would, I would think. Because right. Golston has the stats to, uh, to back it up. Yeah. It's tough to argue with before today. that he said. Yeah, because I said, I, I started asking about Cam Jordan and where does he fall amongst Saints greats in his. He's up there, man. All-time Saints leader. Yeah. Saints sack leader. Yeah, you no. got to put him there. All right, let's take a timeout back after this. We'll see what other college football news is coming out today. Dave Schultz, Lyndon Burton, 103.3 The GOAT. Pardon us. Well, we butt in with a little common sense. 103.3 The GOAT. The greatest sports talk of all time. Lafayette Roofing, from the roof to the roots of Acadiana. We know issues with your roof can be intimidating and maybe even expensive. But not if you call Lafayette Roofing. Big or small, we handle it all at a price you can afford. We also offer our standard five-year labor and materials warranty. Lafayette Roofing takes pride in being in the heart of Acadiana and the official roofing company of your rage and Cajuns. So if you need a roof, who else would you call? Call Lafayette Roofing. Our name says it all. 237-ROOF. That's 237-7663. Ernie Johnson and Charles Barkley welcoming you back to Susan's Cubicle here in Accounts Payable. What an afternoon of non-stop bookkeeping action, Charles. Are you kidding me? She set herself a reminder to get out of that chair and move. That's a smart use of a timeout. She's somehow still reading her emails while getting her heart rate up and moving her muscles. Healthy habits that could lower your risk of cancer. Uh Uh-oh, it's Karen from the IT department. This is a wrinkle no one saw coming. She means well, but she just derailed the yoga class down in accounts receivable. There she goes to one of her usual distractions. But Susan just tosses her a no-look way. That's a crazy move. Let's watch that again. She's stretching, and there's the effortless side wave. Susan's putting on a clinic. Susan from Accounts Payable. Dominated. Just get moving. It helps in the prevention of so many cancers. Stand up to cancer and Optum want to help you reduce your risk for cancer. Visit TakeAHealthyStand.org. The mission of Paralyzed Veterans of America is clear. Accessibility. Veterans who have served and sacrificed the best of themselves deserve access to the best our country has to offer. Access to meaningful employment. Access to the veterans' benefits they've earned. Accessible homes and vehicles. And access to every part of their communities. With PVA staff working inside VA hospitals, No other veterans organization has provided more real-time, ongoing support for paralyzed veterans and their families. PDA is proud to serve veterans across all branches, all generations, and all conflicts. Our nation's heroes fought for your independence. Join PDA in fighting for theirs at PVA.org. What is dedication? The thing that drives me every day as a dad is Dariana. We call him Day Day for short. Every day he's hungry for something, whether it's attention, affection, knowledge. And there's this huge responsibility in making sure that when he's no longer under my wing, that he's a good person. I want him to be able to sit back one day and go, we worked together, we did a good job. That's dedication. Find out more at fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Every second counts in a poison emergency. That's why Poison Help is standing by 24-7 to provide free assistance in over 100 languages. Save Poison Help as a contact in your phone today. Poison Help. 1-800-222-1222. Thirsty for intelligent sports talk? Sounds like you need a little go to Ray. 103.3 The Goat. Ah! 
the greatest sports talk of all time. This video may have cost 10 bucks. Mm. Oh, it's just them standing there. She's dancing. I mean, they're Mm. dancing, but they're in a little studio and they're using video effects, like 1985 video effects. Mm. Good song. Kitchy tune. Yeah, but they didn't put no effort into it. They really didn't. No. No, no, no. no. Compared to, like, say, Duran Duran and Hungry Like the Wolf. Oh, Oh, yeah. You know, or Rio or Or something. Michael Jackson and any of his Well, that's a different story. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. They took it to a new level. All right. Dave Schultz, Lyndon Burton, big stories of the day. Cam Jordan signs an extension. Uh, We'll take him through 2025. Uh, Alvin Kamara talks to the media and then is suspended for three ball games. It appears he's just going to take that. Although it would appear to me that when he went and talked to his buddy Roger yesterday, they sort of decided that's what it was going to be. I'm going to give you... You know, instead of going through the whole rigmarole of me giving you five and you getting three, uh, how about we just give you three and you don't appeal? And it kind of feels like that was it. Uh, I will say that Alvin Kamara seemed to take it like a man. See if you can find that audio again. Uh, Fletcher Mackle's Twitter feed uh, there, Lyndon, compared to Deshaun Watson, who is er- still er- blaming the er- media. Early in camp is still blaming the media for his reputation. Dude right? just doesn't get it, man. No, he like doesn't. It's, no. It's insane. He doesn't get it. Whereas... I don't even think that Alvin Kamara has gone through any, you know, quote, treatment or anything no. like that, right? But he, you have it? You oh, have oh, you want, oh, I didn't know yeah, you yeah. wanted me to replay. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Let me get that for a second. At least, at least he's not texting or tweeting. He's just ignoring me. No, no, no. I was, I was reading uh, some, uh, a Jay Billis thing because he posted oh. something new that I right. figured you'd want right, to right. have on the Pac-12. Right, right. But look, I got it right here. I'm going to kind of go general. So we, we knock out all the questions. I'm going to just knock them out because I know what y'all going to ask. So, <laughs> so uh, yesterday when I met with um, when I met with Roger, it went well. Um, I'm not going to get into the details of what we discussed in the meeting, but it went well. I think we got accomplished what we need to get accomplished. Um, so obviously happy I got a chance to do that. Happy he gave me the opportunity to come up there um, because obviously I know that's not really protocol but i mean he gave me the opportunity and i uh, took it and went up there and met with him and it went well um on to the las vegas incident obviously i haven't talked in a while it's been a couple months 18 19 months that i've been dealing with this ordeal obviously um it's a tough ordeal to be in um you know i never want to be involved in something where someone gets hurt or severely injured or anything um poor judgment on my end uh definitely a, a bad decision but i'm a man Everything I've ever done in my life, I stood on, and, and I, I, I could take accountability for it, and I could say when I'm wrong. And I was completely wrong, embarrassed the Saints, embarrassed uh, my family, my mother, um, embarrassed myself, um, embarrassed the city, and the Shield, obviously, embarrassed the NFL. So, you know, I just tried to do my best to kind <clears> of <throat> keep it as much away from the media and as much away from the team um, as I could. You know, obviously, it's, it's hard to do that when, you know, you got such an um, uh, a incident like that. So... Um, you know, I, I'll be lying if I said it wasn't tough. I've lost a lot uh, throughout this ordeal. Definitely not looking for any pity. Not looking for somebody to give me a pat on the back and say it's okay. Um, I know what I, I know what I did. I know what I was involved in, and um, I definitely take responsibility. And you know, that's that's part of being a man and growing. You know, from here, I just got to make the right decisions and, and make the right choices. So, so there you go. So that, that what he just did there is basically ending the conversation. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have to answer any questions about it. I yep. mean, maybe there was some follow-up. That's but, it. But it, they, no one's going to ask him anything about that ever, you know, for the rest of the year. And they don't right? have to. Because he, he said it right there. I'm yeah. going to tell you everything you want to know right here and him taking responsibility for his actions. Right, and said he had a good meeting with his buddy Roger. Mm-hmm. Kind of surprised Raj. him, which is funny. Which is funny. <laughs> I wish you'd have said Raj. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it just feels like they agreed... To the three game mm-hmm. suspension, uh, our buddy Zach Blobner uh, from WDAE, right? Mm-hmm. He covers Tampa. Yeah, he was like, it kind of sounds. He kind of agreed it. He's like, this is a little bit light. People thought he was going to get four to six. He got three, so maybe 
Oh, big, the other fans redo. are getting salty that, that you didn't get six? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Saints win once, finally. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I saw things this morning when John Gruden, who, by the way, is still suing the NFL um, to find out who leaked the, info. the emails. Basically, he's trying to find out proof that Daniel Snyder allegedly leaked the, leaked the emails. emails. That's my guess. Or allegedly the J- the Rock Nation gir- girl we talked about. Oh, yeah. You remember we talked yeah, about that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. But I do have, uh, I think we, we mentioned a Jay Billis tweet earlier, and I think this right. one really uh, summarizes what we discussed earlier about just the hypocrisy of the NCAA. This is the real transfer portal, and it's the Pete Thamel's, uh tweet saying both Utah and Arizona are going to the Big 12. This is the real transfer portal and no claim of tampering. That's reserved for players only. How does the NCAA have the audacity to sit before Congress and beg for guardrails on players when none of that applies to the member schools? That's exactly right. Yep. Doesn't apply to the schools or the coaches. That's crazy. And, and then you can get into the major league franchises, right? I mean... Vegas move or you know Oakland moved to Vegas. Uh, the A's are trying to do the same. I, I'm not sure how quickly that's going to move along. Um, you know, it's very interesting. You know, again, major league sports are not baseball so much, but the NFL is incredibly socialistic. Mm-hmm. Right? We have a salary cap. Yep. We share revenue. Right. That's how you can have a successful team in Green Bay. Where the yeah. population goes by hundreds of thousands compared to New York. Which is millions. Where we're talking millions. <laughs> yeah. Or L.A. Or Chicago. That's can't how just you, buy your teams. That, right. You can't do that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, and even so, the NFL does things to benefit the latter half of the teams and the people that are in the mid-tier. Well, category. it's even set up for the draft. Yep. Right? The draft. You, that, that's not about capitalism. Because in... I think in baseball more the top players control things, right? Um, in baseball, just the not, way that way the stru- really. the pitch structure. Okay, no, not really. There's only the the only ones that can have any say are the high school kids. Mm. If they are Dylan Cruz, mm-hmm. right, who decided he was going to play college, didn't matter how much he was getting offered. He was coming to LSU. Gotcha. Whereas some people say, "I'm going to college if you don't pay me enough." Ah, uh, okay. Because I know the, in, the I know the NBA is the top tier player, and the there's no middle class in the NBA. Well, somewhere along the way, that is uh, that has come up uh, the, with the last CBA. Yeah, I don't know why that is. That I think that's what the new CBA is trying to fix a little bit of that. No, the, oh, it took the, it away. It's the result of the new uh, CBA. Okay, okay. Is incre- is this incredible uh, high uh, upper class, mm-hmm. low middle class, and or low lower class, and nothing no, in the middle? Nothing in the middle. Yeah, for sure. Whereas the NFL, I mean, there got- are some people. I mean, what are our guy? What Dylan Brooks? Oh yeah, he did. He did get a. a and he get a four-year, twenty million dollar deal per year. Did he get an eighty million dollar deal? I think so. Something like that. Are we calling that high end, or is that the middle? That's the middle tier. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah. Anthony Davis just signed for an extra one hundred eighty-seven million dollars over three years. That's the that's the upper tier. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a big difference. Let's see. Yeah, Dylan Brooks got four year eighty-six. That's pretty good middle class. That's pretty good. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Average salary twenty-one million a year. That, that is not, you know the. Yeah, the mid level exception. He's set for life. Should be. Should be, yeah, for sure. Should be. No state income tax in Houston, although they have to pay taxes all everywhere they play. You have they to, do? Yeah, you gotta be a real accountant. What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of messed up. Where did you have a show last week? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. Uh, you may have to look into that. Okay. In Austin, yeah. I'm not kidding you. Look into that. Oh, I might have to pay taxes. Oh yeah. Because I had a show there? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh! Okay, yeah, I'm gonna look into that. Yeah, oh my goodness, it won't be that much money because okay. I mean you made a little bit of money, yeah, but you didn't crazy. make a lot of money. Yeah, but yeah, they got a they they like comedians uh-huh. and and uh, oh wait, yeah, I think you're, that's what they were ba- te- bands. The, the the convention was telling they met with like the people who made money and they were like. Here's these papers. I wasn't listening. I was just right. <laughs> it went over my head. But okay, no, I need to. I need to do that. Okay, look Good. into that. Yeah, it won't be that much money. Okay, you know, and then I'll be able to write off like the, the whole trip. 
Yeah, yeah, you could probably do that. <laughs> yeah, That's right. I, I am an LLC. I do have an LLC. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it won't, it, be, that it won't be that big. Of it a won't deal. be that much, but yeah. it will be something for sure. Right. And so, yeah, it's only. But that's how they pay for the arenas. That's how oh. these arenas get paid for by the tax of the people who play in them. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I guess that's beneficial to the people um, who live in that state. Who live in the local? Yeah, who live yeah, locally, yeah, yeah. Right? Who live local. Right. Yeah, I can't right, be right. mad at that. Okay. Fair enough. They did host me, so whatever. <laughs> well, they brought you in. They, yeah, they brought me in. They so. didn't pay for your travel. No, did not. That's, that's next level. That's where we're writing that off. Yeah, that's yeah. when I get to the... Oh, you can write off the travel. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's no, right. I, everything. Yeah. The, every, my food. Sure. <laughs> everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's going right. to be lit. No bourbon, though. No, zero. Yeah. Zero. Sorry about that. Dropped the ball on that one, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, RG3 just treated college football as gone as you know it. I don't know about that. I think that might be... Too much. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little. It's gonna be fine. All right. <laughs> I, I, although I will probably be the only one who cheers if the Rose Bowl goes away. <laughs> you are, man. That's I'm cr- bitter. Admittedly, <laughs> admittedly. Let's All see right. if people are talking about that. Like, if there's anything about the Rose Bowl out there right now. Um. Oh, so someone said, "Is the Big Ten gonna play itself in the Rose Bowl?" <laughs> All right, yeah. Michigan versus USC. Yeah, <laughs> that honestly, maybe that should be their their uh, bowl game. They just make it for that conference. Well, I mean, you could end up with that with the, if they're in the semifinals together, right? True. They're, you know, you could end up with that anyways. Yeah, true, 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 true. Man. Okay. So, oh no, this is old. They, like you said, they've been talking about this. I'm seeing reports of like. Is the Rose Bowl going to exist like, like you said, a year ago? This is crazy. Well, I did. I did a year ago for the Pac-12. I'm actually impressed with myself. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't remember that I did that. Would the, would the Pac-12 exist beyond their media rights deal? And the answer is no. Oh. <laughs> the answer ends up being no. Jeez, man. That's insane. Way to fumble the bag, Pac-12. Time and time again. Time and time again. And because they fumbled it, Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with it. But I'm, I'm, you know, again, my Syracuse Orange are more close, are closer to group of five, are closer to the Cajuns in Coastal Carolina than they are in um, Clemson or Florida State mm-hmm. or Miami or Duke. Now we'll see how good my guy Riley Leonard is. Uh, all right, let's take a timeout. <laughs> Another slow day of news. <laughs> a conference that was together for over 100 years is no more. I wonder what the, that George Kliakoff, is he going to sleep tonight? <laughs> he, might, he might get drunk tonight. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? Did, that, did you hear about the Johnny Manziel thing? What happened with Johnny Manziel? We'll talk about that in a moment. Okay. We'll talk about that when we come back. All right. New Netflix. Johnny Manziel oh, documentary. Gotcha. Dave Schultz, Linda Burton, put a bow on it when we get back. 1033 The Goat. Kentucky Fried Chicken's new ultimate barbecue fried chicken sandwich. An extra crispy filet loaded with hickory smoked bacon, cheese, crispy onions, and sweet honey barbecue sauce. It tastes just like summer, but like the good part of summer. Not leaving the tent door open and waking up to a swarm of mosquitoes, two chipmunks, and one very, very large woodchuck. Anyway, try KFC's new ultimate barbecue fried chicken sandwich. It's a barbecue in every bite. That's finger licking good. For a limited time at participating locations while supplies last, prices may vary. Dwight Andrus, a division of Hub International, is Louisiana's premier employee benefits and commercial insurance brokerage. Dwight Andrus can insure just about any risk that your business faces. Dwight Andrus specializes in the construction, healthcare, real estate, and hospitality industry. Chances are you're probably already doing business with someone who does business with Dwight Andrus. Dwight Andrus, a division of Hub International, ask to speak with Harry Pata or Brant Etier. Visit them at DwightAndrusInsurance.com. Dan Hicks with Paul A. Zinger, welcoming you back to the Healthy Stand Classic and Zing. She has been absolutely tremendous today, but it all comes down to this shot. It does, Dan, and you couldn't ask for better conditions. 68 degrees, just a slight two mile an hour breeze and a UV index of three. This is absolutely critical. That is right. This direct exposure to midday sun could be 
increasing her risk to melanoma. It looks like she's making a change. Yeah, she's putting that putter back in the bag. Now let's see what she takes out. Oh, wow, it looks like she's pulling out a 15. I don't know, it looks like she's going with a 30. Strong choice. She's going to want to use the recommended SPF 30 even on a cloudy day. And notice how she's using broad spectrum sunscreen. And a generous amount, too. Incredible. That was a masterful performance. That was pretty good, too. Stand Up to Cancer and Optum want to help you reduce your risk for cancer. Visit TakeAHealthyStand.org. Victor deployed for the first time to Afghanistan in 2003. At 4 in the morning, my phone rang. They said, I regret to inform you that your husband was wounded in action. Victor sustained a moderate traumatic brain injury. I was doing school full time, and I was also then caring for Victor. One of the most important elements of caregiving is taking care of yourself. I just didn't want to forget that I also had goals and that I also had a life. What I did is I challenged Victor to meet me halfway. There are almost six million military and veteran caregivers across the nation. We have our own journey and we can fulfill that journey at the same time that we are helping our loved one. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for a free military veteran's guide to navigate your caregiving journey and better care for your loved one and yourself. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Don't let someone get your goat. There's plenty to go around for everyone. 1033 The Goat, the greatest sports star of all time. All right, Dave Schultz, Lyndon Burton on a part of Friday afternoon sports chat. So Johnny Manziel documentary, is it Johnny Football? Is that what we're dealing with? Yeah, I think on Netflix. Yeah. Well, that was his nickname. Apparently... He had a suicide attempt. Oh, whoa. After he got cut. From the Browns. Jeez. Well, I'm glad he's doing okay now. Gun wouldn't fire. What? That's insane. See, we never know what people are going through, man. Never know. So it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, I'm watching that doc as soon as it's yeah. out. Yeah, is it not out yet? Uh, it might be. I haven't checked now. Oh, and, they, and and hopefully next week. I just kept on forgetting. Uh, what's it called? Winning season. Winning time. Winning time. Yeah, that starts Sunday. The Sunday. Yep. So that's the that's the Showtime Lakers. Yeah, that's what this one was about. Mm-hmm. The first one was about the original Magic. It was only about one year. I think this is going to be multiple years. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited because then that means I think they're trying to tell up to Kobe and Shaq. That's a long way, though. Yeah, no, we're we're ways away from that. But I think they're going to do magic, then do a time skip situation, and then I think. But I think we're way but, well, away from that. Kobe and Shaq are like because it covers Jeff Perlman's whole book. Kobe and Shaq is in in Perlman's book. Yeah, okay. It's a, right. it's about the Lakers dynasty. I, I'm pretty sure. I think the book was Showtime. Let me see, Jeff Perlman. Because I thought it, I thought it went all the we'll way. We'll try to, to get there. Jeff on next week. Yeah, so, but, I mean, Shaq was, like, 98? Okay, so, I'm guessing they did the book of Perlman's uh, covering of Magic, Kareem, and Riley in the 1980s Lakers. Yeah, Showtime. Showtime, yeah. Yeah. Because he does have a sequel to that, which is the Three Ring Circus, Kobe, Shaq, and Phil. That's different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's a different book. Well, I hope they, I hope they, they make that show Keep after. it going, yeah. right? Right. Keep it going. Yeah. The only problem is you get the Pistons are in there and the Sixers are going to be, or the Bulls get in there is the problem. Oh, with the uh, 80s, with the yeah. uh, Showtime? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, not the show. So the Showtime comes to an end with the Pistons. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then the Bulls and the, yeah. And then the Bulls gotcha, take gotcha, over. Gotcha, 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 so. gotcha. Okay. 
Look, man, that show is incredible. I think it's awesome. Yeah. I know Jerry West is not portrayed as Jerry West. Shh. <laughs> Don't really care. I believe Jason Clark. <laughs> I like to believe it, man. They said Jerry was a bad, was a was a fired up guy. Nothing wrong with that, Jerry. Showed that you wanted to win. I liked, I liked it. Right, I was but, in. but I mean, almost a maniac. <laughs> but I mean, look, the greatest GM ever. I get it if he's a little crazy. It was one of the greatest players ever. It wasn't mm-hmm. about, about being GM. It was about losing to the Celtics all the time. I get that. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I get if you take all those losses. You know, you get a little upset. And then on top of that, you're the greatest GM ever. You want right, to win. I right, get it. Right. I get it. I was okay with it. Let me just tell you, Jason Clark's on a heater. Doing that and Oppenheimer, he's incredible in both. Incredible in both. Dude might win an Emmy. Also, dang, we're not going to get the Emmys this year. Well, the writers and the act, they're going back. This yeah. next year. I remember you said that. You are like, they're going to meet just before wait. the year. Just wait. They're meeting, t- just they're meeting wait. tomorrow or something. Just wait. This will get settled. All right. I hope it, so. It's, it, it'll get settled. And then the mayor right. of California I mean, came the out. UPS thing wasn't getting settled, and that got settled. Oh, it did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, because yeah, the California mayor was like, I want these strikes to end now. <laughs> well, the, the UPS thing would have been bad. Yeah. For the, for economy, the country. For the, yeah. yeah, for the economy. So, and, and UPS gave in a little bit. So, good for them. Um uh, all right, great show today. All right, let's see what you play here. Uh, it's 56. All right. Yeah, yeah we, got, we got a couple seconds. Just making sure. Yeah, no, for sure. I got Any you. you what happened to the weekend song? Well, I, I put this, okay, I'm going to turn this off. I put this in before. I tested you. There you go. All right. I put that in before I realized about that. I did that at the beginning of the show. That's called getting busted. All right, mm-hmm. turn it down a little bit. All right. All right, special thanks to Luke Johnson for hopping on Talking Saints. Uh, Josh Botwell from the Troy Messenger previewing Troy Trojans. Uh, D. Orlando Ledbetter from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Uh, and hopefully we'll get Tim Brando on Monday. Again, something came up. That's okay. Thanks to Linda Burton for doing a bang-up job. The effort is always appreciated. Thank you for listening. Please have a fun and safe weekend. We'll be back on Monday with another edition of Sports Chat. Keep it tuned in to 103.3. The goat. It's a good thing goats have four stomachs. Otherwise, there's no way we could swallow some of these takes. Hey, goat, what's going on out there? 1033 The Goat, the greatest sports talk of all time. Macy's One Day Sale is going on now with great deals of the day on back-to-school essentials they need now, like 40 to 50% off kids' and juniors' outfits, 25 to 50% off backpacks, bags, and accessories, and get their dorm room set with 40% off small appliances from Bella, Crux, and more. Plus, download the app for even more great deals of the day at Macy's. Savings off sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. These at Kitty and a Businesses proudly support the broadcast of UL Raging Cajun Athletics on 1033 and 1420 The Goat. News Talk 965 KPL. Classic Rock 1051 and Hot 1079. Barney's Police Supplies. Doug Ashy Building Materials. Natalie Brasso DDS. Big Wheels AC and Heating. And J&J Exterminating. Support these businesses that support the Raging Cajuns game broadcast of football, men's and women's basketball, baseball, and softball. Bring all the action into your home, car, smart speaker, on your phone, or wherever you work all year long. And if you'd like to learn more about becoming a UL booster, it's easy to join the winning team. Support the broadcast of UL Raging Cajun Athletics by becoming a UL Broadcast Booster. Just contact Mary Gallion by calling 337-233-6000. Hi, I'm Connie Britton, and I want to share with you the experience of Donna in Washington. She writes, I got injured about five years ago. I was let go, and because of the injury, I couldn't keep up with my schedule. I've tried to find other work, but I'm 68 now. No one wants to hire someone that old. This week is tough, though, because I had to get my tooth fixed. So I only have $10 in my checking account. But it will be okay. I at least have food because of this pantry. Millions of people face hunger. Some every day, just like Donna. The Feeding America network of food banks 
helps provide over 6 billion meals to people in need each year. Learn more at feedingamerica.org. Feeding America, 200 food banks strong. St. Joseph's Indian School is much more than a school for Native American children. It's like a family. Classes are fun here. I am learning about my culture. Since 1927, St. Joseph's Indian School has provided children the education, health care, and support they need to succeed. To help give our kids brighter futures, learn more at stjo.org today.